In an interview on TV One Sports Show Kickoff, CEO for PNG NRLC Stanley Hondina said PNG NRLC will now focus its attention on hunters and other Australian NRL player where there is a PNG representation and prepare itself for the World Cup. And when the host committee, the Rugby League World Cup people gave the notice of the postponement, I think uh, it was a bit bitter at the start, but it, it slowly sank down and uh, all across the globe they accepted it due to the fact that the uncertainties around it uh, that were not really helping. And we accepted the decision as a, as a member nation and affiliate of the Rugby League World Cup group. He said now that Hunters and Digicel Cup games are heading towards the end of the competition and with October and November available, that time will be used to look into identifying a possible squad for both the Orchids and the Kumuls. We use this opportunity again at the back end to prepare ourselves well and to look forward to 2022, but there's no confirmation date or month that they've given us yet as indication. As we speak, there's been some FAQs circulated around to all member nations on what they think, and I think it's they are doing the stakeholder engagements. While PNG is a member nation and an affiliate to the Rugby League World Cup group, PNG has accepted the deferment of the World Cup, but will take this time to prepare itself while waiting to hear on a possible date as to when Rugby League World Cup will be played in 2022. If we can at least put the international to the clip of the year mm. and set it as a benchmark to prepare for next year or the next World Cup. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Hondina said with the World Cup postponed, PNG NRLC is now focusing on the Digicel Cup and the Interest Super Cup games in Queensland. Godwin Eki, TV1 Sports.